So I wanted to show you how to use the pen tool um, with our designs, but also just generally with Cricut Design Space. So this is the desktop version of Design Space. Um, this is the known card that I brought in. I'm going to just kind of focus on these on the right hand side to show you how you can change it to be able to write with a pen. Um, but first I kind of want to, I'm going to get this prepped because I want to save this file. So I'm going to change this to score attach the score line. I'm going to move it down. Then if you ever have a whole bunch of things like this, you see it moves all together. It just needs to be ungrouped. So I'm going ahead and I'm, going to, I'm just going to take these over here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to highlight the rest of these. Put them down here. And what I'm going to do is just kind of group them together. So it'll be easy to do a, another step later on here. So I'm just going to group them and right now I'm going to hide them. Let me zoom in. So if you want to use a pen, there's two different ways you can use these. Um, these are meant to be print and cut, cut primarily, but some of the files actually, uh, the pen, if you use a pen like a fine line or fine tip, these will actually come out quite well too. So not every single font used will do that um, because it kind of doesn't do a single line. Uh, Cricut has its own single line fonts. So the way you would do this is I'm just going to take the season greetings and on the right you'll see that it's highlighted. We just want to select the one, the actual letters. So the, the letters there, season greetings. And then we'll come up here in the lower left, uh, in the upper left and select draw. And what by default you'll see, I'm just going to zoom in you'll see that it is kind of double. So what it's doing is drawing around the edge. So here you could change a color if you wanted to be reminded what color pen you want to use. So um, if you're just using one color like black, um, I wouldn't worry too much about the color. That just really is to help you. Um, and I believe that it will prompt you to, to change it. So let's go ahead and do that. Then I'm just going to get rid of this. I'm going to move this last one. Let's go ahead and hide that one. So once we have it all, we're all ready to go to go ahead and uh, double check it in the make it preview window. Um, I stopped for a moment because I accidentally just make sure that on the right hand side here that you only choose draw on the um, words or the thing that you intend to draw. If you want to do draw out the tag, of course you could do that too. Um, but in this case, I wanted to cut it out, but I accidentally put draw at one point. So now we can go ahead and hit make it just to validate and to cut them out. And you'll see they're both on the same mat because they're both white. Um, one question you might have is, will they, on, oh, and on the left there, before I um, go on to this tangent here. Uh, it says draw uncut, so you know it's set to draw uncut. And, um, but you see they're two different color pens. So when they're two different colors, um, it'll prompt you to, it'll draw the first one. Uh, and it could do this one first, who knows, but it'll draw the first one it wants to draw in the color and it'll tell you what color. So if we go continue, because I set one to moccasin and one to black, I believe. So we still have to select our cardstock, depending on what you're using. And then you'll see it says load black pen and clamp A. So it'll say load the black one first, and then of course have the blade in, and then go ahead and load your mat, and um, then follow, you know, hit that little uh, cricket button when it flashes to start writing. Well, it, after this is done, it'll ask you to put the next color pen in and then it'll cut it. So if you're wondering, that's how it works. So I'm going to cancel it because we don't waste your time, but it did work. So that's the way we do that that way. Let's say you don't like the wording um, on something and you could use any any um, image or whatever, any any image in Cricut to do this. But we're, we're still going to utilize this file as an example. So I'm going to go ahead and let's see, group these. 
and then I'm going to hide them. I'm going to go find the, on the right hand side, there's a, just a, a regular tag, an empty tag. So I'm unhiding this. They're all grouped together, so I'm moving it over here. I'm just going to group them again and get them out of our way. I'll just, uh, I just like to do it that way when I'm doing that. See if I can get it right this time. Okay. So let's say you want to use a Cricut, uh, your own a Cricut font that you have. So we can go ahead and use the tag. So this could be any, it could be a circle. So let me do that too. I'll just take any, I'll take a square. I'll turn it into a rectangle by unlocking that. Let's change this to white. Okay, so now you have the tag that came with the SVG file and you have the just a blank tag that's a, a rectangle. So let's go to text and write something. Happy birthday. I'm going to do it to. So you can see it up here. I, it's way down here, but you can see it here. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit. So I'm done with that. I'm going to actually put it on that little tag. So let me zoom in. So I'm going to highlight the happy birthday and I want a writing style. So I know the Cricut Sans, which is the default, has a writing style. So I'm just going to use that. Now, if you wanted to find out which ones had writing styles, there's a, a different uh, filter and I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm going to just put it down here. See, I just drug from the right hand corner. It keeps it in, in um, it constrains the proportions and then I could go over here and upper left and change the color to navy blue let's say I'm doing a fine point and you could do marker too so there's I have happy birthday and so we could just attach it right so I'm just gonna go like this and you see We'll go ahead and hit attach. Well, let me right click and hit attach. So that's going to draw on this little tag, just like the Merry Christmas. And let's go ahead and do one more example with this little rectangle here using the Crip Cricut text and images. So just going to show you a little uh, trick that I found, which can come in handy doing this on paper or using things like the infusible pens. So we can go ahead and say, um, we're not going to do happy birthday. Let's do uh, make a wish. Let's do make a wish. So let's go ahead and choose text and go make a wish. I'm going to move it down. I'm going to move these to the right here. Get them out of our way. Let's move them up and then we're all set here. So we're going to tweak this a little bit, make it smaller. I'm going to put an image of a cake next to it. I'm not, this is not exactly, but let's go ahead and align it center up here. And then um, if we wanted, let's say we didn't want to use this writing style, let's try a different font. So over here, I would choose Cricut and then writing. So I'm going to choose one. You see it's all, there's a bunch of access ones. Um, let me get rid of that. I had it searching on Cricut. So anything that says uh, cost next to it costs me additional money. So I'm just going to choose one that I have that I own 
And I'm going to choose uh, Alphalicious as one of the ones I own. So that's, that's a cute one, right? Make a wish. It's centered. Put a little smaller. And then I don't, I want them to be a little closer. So I'm just changing the line spacing up here. So these are this is just a just showing you a couple of the, of, of the other features up there. Um, you could do font size that way, but I prefer to do it this way. And then there's uh, other things. Uh, there's advanced techniques that you can do with text. But for this uh, demo, that's all I want to do. Uh, I'm going to just keep it the default black. And um, you could make this a different color. Just say I wanted to make it like a blue. So I know to cut it out on blue paper. And then I just want to make a simple, I actually want to put a, a cake in, so I'm going to put a cake. So we're going to search for a cake. I'm already pre-searched, and these are all the ones that I own. And I actually, this is kind of cute. That's from the smiley cards. So here I could actually cut it out or do like a printing cut and put it right next to it. So here's a fun thing that I'm going to try to do. So let's just say I did this and if I just wanted to do the pen on the, the blank tag and be able to do print and cut or something of this and put it next to it, I'd have to attach it at this point. But I'm going to show you something that's kind of fun if you've never used it before. So um, you can actually change this into a pen image. So the, you could do this with a lot of SVGs too. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go ahead and ungroup it for now. You see it's ungrouped on the right hand side. And then I'm going to come over here and take each element. So this is um, the, the blue part, the dark blue part. I'm going to make it draw. So let me just do them all draw first before I... Control Z. We want to get rid of this one, so I'm going to delete that one. So you have to play around with this, So, but you can see what's happening. And let's go draw. So we're all there. This one's cut. I don't want to cut that out. You can if you'd like, but I'm going to delete this one because I want to attach it to the tag still. So delete. So now I only have three parts to it. So we're going to change these two different colors. So as you can see, the candles, um, they were pink before. So let's just make them, do we have pink here? Just say you have, let's say you have these pens. So I'm just showing you this. So you have a pink pen because some people use different pens. And then this next one is that blue, was that dark blue. So let's go ahead and pick a, pick a color we like. Let's say light, light turquoise. And then this one, mint, or actually I kind of like it uh, black. I'm going to keep it black so you can see the little face. So you can see what it looks like now. So th this is all using pens. So you'd have to have the colors pens, of course. But now I can go ahead and move it over here. And I'm going to change this color of this tag. To like a gray. So now let's just say I have it situated. Let's go ahead and group these. That was holding the shift key down and I'm going to right click and group. Now I'm going to select everything here. So this the only thing set to cut is a square. So we'll go ahead and now we're going to attach So now this is all, it should just write it out and cut it. So let me go ahead and hide these. So now we have it attached. Let's go ahead and click on make it. And you see it's draw and cut. So every it'll only cut out that outside part and then it'll prompt you to change the pens for each of these colors. So I just wanted to show you that little tip that you can actually change a regular um, images, whatever images, into a pen images. There are obviously people that make pen images and they sell them in Cricut. 
um, and you have them in the Cricut Access. But this is a different way that you can use a pen. So I hope you found this was helpful for you. Um, if you did have any additional questions, you could feel free to try to comment below. Uh, I'll do my best to answer in the time that I have. And uh, thank you so much for watching.